Hey, welcome back to the show. Today is June 27, 2017. In this week's news, we have Ferrania who updated their spec sheet for their P30, 35 black and white film. And I left the link below so you can check it out. I haven't really gone through it, but I think there's a few more developing uh, developers in there and form like times for developing. And I also left the link to their website where they explain what's gonna happen with the sales. I still haven't received my own film, but I'm waiting patiently. I'm not in a rush. I hope they do it good instead of being all rushed to send my film. On another Kickstarter, there's a camera called Videre, V-I-D-E-R-E, 35 pinhole Kickstarter, which was a previous Kickstarter, but Kickstarter's done this thing called Pick a Kickstarter Gold, and their favorite projects are gonna be redone. And this uh, manufacturer has made a smaller 35 pinhole that looks like a TLR and shoots on 35 millimeter film. News from the German film store, Makodirekt, which are the makers of the Rolli film, is a new chrome film called Variochrome. This film is an ISO 200 to 400, depending on how you want to shoot it. They say if you're going to shoot it as slide, shoot it as 400. But if you're going to scan it, you can expose it at 320 or 400. It's only coming at 35 for now. And they said limited edition, which I don't know if it means it's a limited edition because it's starting with a new um, image or it's a limited edition that it won't be made again. I asked but haven't had an answer yet. I'll keep you guys posted. Also from Rolly, we have the RPX 400 back in stock in 35. Also from Mako Direct, so I left the link below. So if you wanna buy some and shoot 35 um, ISO 400 in black and white, you can have that RPX back in stock now. Also, a few weeks back, I gave the news about Impossible's factory closing for refurbish. I read wrong. They're closed, at least for now, permanently. I left the link for them explaining um, what they're doing, and there's some changes in Impossible. I think maybe now that they bought or semi-bought Polaroid, there's some changes happening between both companies. And for now, the factory store will be closed. So if you were traveling, to the Netherlands, uh, you won't be seeing it open at least anytime soon. Someone else that announced they were closing their business was 20 by 24 Studio. They said that they would no longer be working, but they still have some stock. So there's an update on Facebook where they explain that they're still working, slowly using the film, shooting with people and photographers, but they also say that we should all work towards um, smaller uh, peel apart films or Polaroid films or instant films, whatever you wanna call it. But it's interesting because there's been a new 55 update which says that 20 by 24 studio that's been providing them the pods for their uh, Polaroid, uh, sorry, new 55 film, well, new 55 PN 4x5 film um, have stopped, gonna get, stopped giving them the pods. So if 20 by 24 studio wants to work for other formats and smaller formats of instant photography, I don't really understand the move of stopping their pods for new 55. Either they're planning on making their own peel apart film or they just don't want to work with New 55 anymore. I'll keep you guys posted and hope there's a good resolution for both 20 by 24 and New 55. In the last few years, we've seen a lot of companies coming with accessories for film photographers. For example, we have Tap and Die, which is a New York based company making leather straps and other accessories for film users, has come out with a film pouch. It's um, like a canvas um, treated with like wax and it's to hold your 35 or 120 film when you're out and about. And you can check it out, they're sold out, but you can check it out. I think there's a new production coming July, um, the end of July. We also have Shoot Film Co from Mike Padua, which I interviewed and I'll be posting a video soon. He came out with some new pins that say ISO 100. If you wanna shoot, you know, the summer and the sun, he made the ISO 100 um, pins. And he also came out with some new stickers and t-shirts. So I'll leave the link below so you can, guys can check his store. And also last is Japan Camera Hunter um, has made um, some pins with Third Culture, a company making some cool film pins. And uh, they made a, a G8, GCH street pan pin with a 35 so you can use it on your jacket, your bag, whatever you want. So yeah, those are the news for this week. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any information, send an email to the email below. See you in the next one.